I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's up scorpios i hope you guys are looking good feeling good and motherfucking smelling good all right scorpios Let's get into your reading. Let's find out what you need to know at this time. All right, Scorpios. How y'all doing? Let's do message from the cosmic. <clears throat> All right. So let's see what my Scorpios need to know at this time. What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? All right. Your life is so special. Treat it with love and care okay so some of y'all could be taking life for granted like man fuck this shit okay y'all could be wasting y'all time with people places and things and y'all need to stop that okay treat treat it with love and care all right so scorpio somebody also could be thinking about how life is special and like why are they wasting time with so many people they don't really even like people they don't really want to have sex with people they don't even want to have real experiences with okay um, and they're realizing that they need to treat life with love and have real experiences, actually care, actually be involved, actually um, be where they want to be. It says, do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. OK, so Scorpios, you need to really focus on the good. All right. Somebody also could just be thinking about this. They could just be thinking about how they need to more so focus on the positive attributes in their life than the negative. You must forgive if you want to be free. Do it for yourself, okay? So there is something, Scorpio, that you could feel like that you need to forgive somebody about or somebody needs to forgive you, all right? But they're doing that to, to free their selves, okay? Because, um, Scorpio, I think you could care less, okay? <laughs> all right, so let's see what's going on for you, all right? Those are your three messages. Oosh! from your spirit guides all right they want you to know that life is special and you need to treat it like it is they also want you to know that you are going to get a reboot after april 8th and it's just to help you refocus on what matters in life which is the good things i heard welcome to the good life okay they also want you to make sure that you can forgive people for what they do because it doesn't also help them. It helps you too. So if you holding on to some shit that somebody did in 1948, you really need to let that go. Like, oh, I don't care if I see her. I'm going to smack her on sight. Why? Okay? It's something that she did a long time ago about a nigga that you ain't even talking to no more. And most of y'all dumb selves be like, oh, it's the principle. The principle of the fact that the nigga was trifling and he did the fucked up shit to you. And it's not even the bitch's fault or the nigga's fault. It's the person that you don't even talk to no more. And the crazy part is if this person will call you, y'all will still talk to them but you still want to fight the person that they cheated on you with <laughs> it's crazy y'all funny all right so let's get into it scorpios let's get into it scorpios <sighs> all right scorpios let's get into it <clears throat> what do my scorpios need to know at this time i will be trying to put out two videos an hour all day today oh no you know just to catch up it says make friends with the wise one within all right so some of you scorpios could be looking for outside connections outside social connections and spirit is telling you be be friends with who you are okay it says today when you're feeling stressed confused or challenged take take some time to visit the wise one within close your eyes and take some deep breaths and imagine yourself sitting on a beach next to your wise one ask them what you need to know sit breathe and listen all right so some of y'all need to understand that going to other people, asking people for advice, always trying to get counsel from someone, sometimes that's not the way to go. Sometimes you just need to sit down and consult with your damn self and see what the fuck is going on, okay? A lot of you guys are like, well, I can't do that, you know? I have to go with how my ancestors did things. You are your own person, okay? So do things how you want to do them, all right? Let's see what's going on with my Scorpios. Y'all really need to pay attention to people's actions and how they do stuff. 
Just because they have similarities in the same things that you do doesn't mean that they're a good person. It says do something just for fun, just for the fun of it. So Scorpio, you need to go out and get some sun. You need to do something today just for the fun of it. When a favorite song comes on the radio, crack up, crank up the volume and dance. Spend 20 minutes drawing. Take a class. Find shapes in the clouds. Let the spirit of fun inspire you, thought, or just rest for the day, okay? So some of y'all need to do something just for the fun of it or just for the hell of it, okay? And find fun in that. Um, today, also, you are the peacekeeper of your inner world. So a lot of you guys need to understand that if you let somebody take your joy away, it is taken, okay? So just know, don't let people get under your skin. Get to know the gremlin on your shoulder. Y'all know it's lawn care day. So a lot of you guys are fighting the demon on your shoulder. Damn, I'm fighting with this man. Look at this shit. I'm fighting with him. You be competing. All right, the next time you experience self-doubt or negative thought, have a conversation with the gremlin on your shoulder. Ask your gremlin what it is that he wants to say or she. Don't edit, don't judge. Then ask the gremlin what is needed in order to feel better, okay? So this gremlin could be on your shoulder pushing you to do some things you don't really want to do, you know what I'm saying? But you do need to figure out what that is and why you want that love or why you want that compassion or, you know, why you want to talk to that friend or why you want to communicate with this person. Especially after, if after you don't feel good, if after you don't feel validated, if after you don't even feel seen, okay? Okay. So really get to know that gremlin on your shoulder, Scorpio, okay? And just know that your answer can be no. So if you have to tell somebody something and you kind of scared because you you don't like confrontation, you your test is that you have to tell this person no, all right? Some of y'all need to get chlorophyll, all right? Uh, the green chlorophyll, you need to put it in your drink or something like that, okay? It helps you clarify the purify the odor that's naturally in your it's not naturally in your body, it's really just based off what the fuck you eat. But chlorophyll will really help that. Alright, you can put it in your drink or something like that. Alright, so Scorpios, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <clears throat> what do my Scorpios need to know at this time? What do my Scorpios need to know at this time? Alright, abundance is coming towards you. Alright, at a time where you are reflecting. You really could be fighting with somebody. Like, they could be raising their voice. You could be raising your voice. You could be like, damn, this is going nowhere, okay? We have enlightenment, okay? So you know something. 27 could be significant, all right? Somebody's birthday could be October 27th. That's watching this right now. All right, shout out to um, my Scorpios. <laughs> all right, so somebody's texting me. All right, so there's a connection with your ancestors and remembering your roots. So with this enlightenment, a lot of you guys could be talking to your mom or your dad about older people in your life, you know, and your bloodline. But this is just basically saying uh, that you're going to be connecting to your ancestors. You could be reaching out to old aunties. They could be calling you like, you remember me? you like, hell no, nah, I don't remember you, lady. Like, what the fuck? Okay, let's focus on material things. Okay, so a lot of you guys could be focusing less on material gains right now. And you're trying to teach other people how to manifest stuff, how to have true, um, like, life lessons that are valuable, wisdom that can go past the ages, okay? And you're applying a lot of the lessons that you learn, and you're staying humble right now, Scorpio, and you're staying very grounded, okay? So the lotus flower in this picture represents stress, okay? a uh, strength by bad and to follow and achieve your highest desires and being aware of what is around you and still blossoming in even the roughest environments okay because sometimes the lotus flower grows in the most vicious environments okay which is super cool you have an inner knowing of peace and spiritual connection that shifts your focus from constant worry to allowing yourself to have a situation and having full um intuition and insight over the situation and its outcome which is powerful it's like even though you've been presented with something that's negative or something like that you like hell no nah, that shit ain't negative for me i'm gonna flip it like a whole cake and you do that every time you know you don't know that you're doing it you just know that there is a solution born the same time a problem is born and i tell y'all that all the time because it's hella important for you to have that ingrained in your mind that there is a way out every time okay there's always an antidote 
you are approaching life with a pure heart and a calm mind which allows you to rise above the noise so a lot of people that's in your life right now scorpio that's noisy as fuck you're rising above them not in a disrespectful way not because you dogging them not saying oh yeah i'm better than you just saying that your frequency and where you are is so fucking peaceful that you gotta stay away you can't these people can't penetrate you like if they call you they can't reach you you know what i'm saying um yeah you are serving an example to many other people about how to level up and understanding how it is to be patient and to accept people fully during their journey so a lot of people right now are going to be looking over you some people might watch you from afar that judged you dogged you preach it like yo i can't fuck with you because you do this or i can't fuck with you because you do that but you're gonna rise above all of these people these people could lose their job they could fall flat on their feet but this also has a lot to do with them thinking this of you like your enlightenment or whatever your journey is they could have said it was some bullshit or it's a fake or you was a phony okay and sometimes when people point you out like that you always got to be rose and like above everybody else so they can see that even if you felt like you they didn't you didn't get to your success the way they wanted you you still got to that success and you still rose above all their hate their judgment and, and their bad chatter okay that's that's kind of deep all right scorpios whoever is on your mind let's pull some cards for your love life all right so let's see what's going on with scorpio and their love life be patient scorpio you still are letting go of something here and you still haven't healed from this thing okay so whatever this is you could be wearing white you're still healing from this situation all right and you're still letting it this situation go this person is still letting you go too y'all could be just going through the, the growing pains of releasing here and i always tell y'all don't skip this with people don't go date people just because you stopped talking to somebody heal from this person all right take you a goddamn four five months out okay healing doesn't always have to mean damn yeah this shit came out anyway you need to have patience okay so have some patience this girl is at a wishing well so you might be able to make a wish for someone scorpio all right and you might be able to get this person all right somebody really likes that you're open and honest okay and very pure anytime you see somebody like showing their shoulders or they have a shirt and tarot and they're like it's off the shoulders that means that they're open and pure okay um this person misses playing with you man this person miss joking with your dumb ass okay so whoever this is they like to play but they don't like to play hit but they just like how you're just funny and you just i don't know you really lighten up the mood okay and then they like the fact that you have a lot of patience as well so somebody likes that you crack a lot of jokes you be patient okay and you're really kind and sensitive somebody wants to make a wish though yeah somebody wants to have a family with you they want y'all bond somebody want to be in a relationship with you with family and tribe somebody wants you to be on their side this could be somebody who has dreadlocks okay you could be very pretty your hair could be wavy right now okay your titties could sit in place okay god damn you know this bitch body is banging both of y'all bodies could be banging somebody could be born in a tiger year she has a tiger here somebody could be 20 somebody could be 23 you could have met the person when you was 23 all right somebody misses how playful you are all right they really like how you have a lot of patience and somebody want to have a family with you all right they want to rock with you somebody is dreaming about you scorpio all right damn that tiger is here again so some of y'all really could be born in a tiger year somebody is having dreams about y'all being separated okay but they want to stay optimistic they don't have a lot of courage though they not healing as well okay they feel like they're ruled by sexual energy and it controls them so somebody is not interested in having sex with somebody or other people they miss you but they feel like you're a wild card they don't know if you're gonna stay or leave and that could put somebody in a very fearful state but they want to be optimistic about their love life and scorpio this could be you you know um with healing here in reverse somebody is not healing and they don't have a lot of courage to come towards you uh they want to make things right but they're scared okay and something about sexuality and you in reverse here all right so somebody lusts for you but they think that they don't have the right to do so because you know you blocked your energy from them but somebody does want to stay optimistic about their love life they feel like they could come back okay they feel like they have if they have a little bit of time and patience during this separation they could probably win you back but somebody feel like it's a long shot with a wild card here somebody feels like you're very beautiful you wear really nice gowns or something like that but you're not sexually active okay so you're not overly sexual either with this card being in reverse okay so with her root chakra that's basically saying this girl could be practicing abstinence or not overly sexual in some kind of way even if this is a man like 
it's been a minute for him since he had sex with another woman, all right? But somebody is thinking about a separation so much that they're dreaming about this person, um, Scorpio, all right? And somebody thinks about you and how playful you are and how you have a lot of fun. But there's a separation here, okay? And somebody wants to start a family with you, have a tribe with you, do something fun with you, all right? Let's see how they feel. I don't know who this is, okay? All right, so the person in this tribe, some of y'all, this person you have a kid with, for others of you guys, this person just want to start their own family with you. You are in separation with someone here as well, okay? So somebody is at odds or somebody's not talking, all right? It says, it makes me happy to see you thriving even though it's not with me. So somebody hates the fact that you're thriving, you're very successful. Without them, you don't fucking need them and you're doing it by yourself, which has maybe pushed somebody to be like, well, shit, I might need to do some shit on my own if this bitch is doing it on their own. The flashbacks I have about us are intense. So when this person goes back in the past and see what happens, they do think about how you always been a go-getter. You always been hella determined or this is how you feel about them. You know what I'm saying? So somebody could be like, damn, this person always been very determined, always been very self-sufficient, always did things on their own. Even when we were separated, this person was really good. But this person hated on you, Scorpio. So be careful. This could be somebody you have a kid with. No one understands me like you do. Okay, so somebody really feels like you really understand understand them but like i said before this person dogged you because you were thriving when they were hurting okay and it really bothered them that you was thriving or doing something alone when they needed help from tom dick and harry just to survive okay it says i treated you like an option and i'm sorry for that it's in reverse so somebody really didn't treat you like an option but they wanted you to believe that shit they wanted you to believe that you wasn't the only one so they would stall you out gas you out you know and that was really stupid so whoever this is scorpio you need to let them games fly okay i'm trying to become a better, better version of myself they also realized that doing you like that you was actually not doing them like that but it took them way too long to really see that you really wasn't investing in no other opportunities but them okay um they're trying to become a better version of themselves but because so many people has hurt this person they love to play a lot of games scorpio it says you didn't realize how you don't realize how perfect you are to me you are really perfect to this person but this person still played games with your heart i heard quit playing games with my heart okay that might be like bastard boys or something hi heart okay i should have known from the start okay that's funny all right, Scorpios, I love y'all. Somebody daughter love pop music, okay? Um, and you could be like, who is this that you like? All right. Um, but yeah, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.